I mean, it's still red and swollen in here. I don't understand why it, it, the swelling is not going away. My throat is still sore from the allergic reaction that I had to the metformin. Um, so I assume it's going to take a little while to get it completely out of my system. I'm still feeling a little funky from that. But all in all, I'm doing much better. Um, I was up really late last night waiting for the vlog to finish processing. Anyway, I just woke up. I know it's late, but that's because I didn't go to bed till late. But I'm going to make myself something to eat unless my lovely husband wants to make it for me. Huh. I can... I got an extra. No, those things are so sweet. I don't understand how people can eat those. Yeah, no. No. Got some extra coffee. No, that's even worse. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You want some breakfast? No, I already had mine. This is not going to be an egg McNeighbor. This is going to be scrambled eggs with some mushrooms, onions, ham, and I didn't get the cheese out. Some cheese and two eggs. Groovy man. Yeah. I'd make you some if you wanted it, but no, you'd rather have your sweet old yucky rice crispy crap. That's right, it gives me energy. You're gonna get diabetes. <laughs> You're gonna have diabetes. Well, if I get it, I get it from you. It's not contagious. Silly boy, tricks are for kids. What are you doing? Drop the piece of ham down there. <laughs> okay. No one's going to want to eat here. You pick stuff off of the floor. It wasn't off of the floor, it was <laughs> off of my stove. What's going on with you, Mojo? Huh? Mojo? Stop buying my food. You ain't getting it. You too, Freckles. Oh, I talked to Freckles and now you're going to talk? Yeah? He sneezed. It's okay. You're not getting my food either. No, I know it smells good, but you're not getting any either. No. No, it's mine. I cooked it for me. Read me comments. Okay. She's yelling at me, Boomer. Boomer's still in the in the cat house. <laughs> the cat house. <laughs> I think he'd like to be in the cat house. Okay, Boomer's in the dog house. <laughs> okay, you pay attention to Boomer while I. I'm eating. Oh. He can wait. He can wait. Your eye doesn't look bad today. Look at me. Look into the camera. <laughs> One of the movies that made me never want to go in the water again. Piranha. Thank you for lunch, honey. You're welcome, sweetie. It was good. <sighs> I cheapy. What did you say? I don't speak John. <laughs> I said it was good and I'm oh. sleepy. Okay, sleepy. What are we watching now? What's the name of this? Oh, I have no idea. That's some. Um... Oh, he played in Charmed. Not him. The other guy. Yes, he's called Bait. Bait! Bait! He played in Charmed, that guy. Alright. And she played in, in. plays in the originals. So it's supposed to be Australia. I don't know if the movie's Australian or if it's just people in Australia. Uh. 
This guy's all tuckered out from his adventures. <laughs> Good thing. It's hot. Hot for you. In the TV room, it's 79 degrees. In the house! So? It's too hot. It's a nice temperature. No, that's too hot. I cannot sit there and, and watch TV in that temperature. It's too hot. So, I'm coming in the bedroom where it's cooler because the heat, the sun is like right on that room. And it's too hot. It's 82 degrees here today, people. 82. And it's 79 in that room. That's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. My hand is burning because it's so hot. See? My hand is burning. Yes, dear. So it's time for my nap anyway. So hey, take I'm your coming nap. in the bedroom, on the bed, with my fan going on me directly. And I'm going to recline the bed up just a little bit, and I'm going to put on one of my shows, and I'll be asleep before it, like, even gets ten minutes into it. Hello, everybody! Ooh. I have dancing hats on my head. Okay. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out! First off, I'd like to thank everybody for all their tips on my burn. I think I could write a book on a thousand ways to treat a burn. <laughs> because I got so many tips and advice from everybody on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, every place on how to treat my burn. It looks much better today. But we need advice on how to keep her from burning herself. <laughs> <laughs> the padded room mom's vlog 80 that's the best advice yet okay and everybody else thank you all for your concern about my allergic reaction I am feeling much much better today I think one more pill and I would have ended up having to go to the hospital um, we stopped it um, I feel great just a little bit of a sore throat today but other than that I'm feeling much much better so thank you all very much for your your concern <clears throat> Renee Carey yeah I just answered this allergic reactions if there's an allergic reaction to a medication I am going to get it and it's usually the worst ones never fails Lucy Owl, she just did a short story, a short movie on her channel a little while back. She is going to be doing a series on her channel. So, make sure you guys go by and check it out. She is amazing at what she does. So you guys really need to go and check out Lucy Owl. Give her a thumbs up, subscribe, and look out for that series because she's awesome. The buck stop. He's going through, Thomas is his name, he is going through a lot of health issues along with me. <laughs> yes, we're going through different ones, but we're both going through a lot of health issues. And just like I have Kevin, I have Kevin, my guardian angel and my rock and my, my health care provider. <laughs> Um, as much as he wants to strangle me. Um, Thomas has his wife, Lisa. So, go by and check out the Buck Stop. They're an awesome couple. And they do vlogs as well. And Thomas just got out of the hospital not too far back. And he's been hey. going through Mojo. <laughs> he's been going through a lot as well. So, go by, check out their channel, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, show them some support and some love, because they are awesome people, too. I don't think he looks good in makeup, though. <laughs> yeah, they did a challenge where Lisa had to do his makeup. You guys got to watch it. It's funny. He looked like a drag queen. Um, <laughs> Lena Neal. Thank you. She says, we make her day each day, even though I don't feel well. Well, you know what? Even when I'm not feeling well, 
And there'll be times when I'm like, Kevin, I just don't feel up to it. And he's like, oh, come on, you got to do it, you got to do it. And I'll get up and I'll do it. And I feel so much better after I do it. Because getting here, doing this, making every one of you out there smile or laugh just a little bit makes me feel better. So, stop playing with my hats. <laughs> so, I'm getting seasick watching your hats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta fix it because it's moving off my head now. Um, so, I really thank you guys, you know, for me coming out here. What are you laughing at? Nothing, keep going. For me, for. Wait, now I'm lost. That's good. I, good. I, move I thank on, move you, on. Now, I thank you guys because if it weren't for all of you, I wouldn't be doing this today. And it, it, it is very therapeutic for me as well. Looky888, he says, our videos puts him in a chipper mood. So, thank you. We are so always glad to hear that kind of stuff. Fuds64, thank you for catching Kevin up. Thank you. Someone caught Kevin when he's up to his shenanigans. And well, she says, I'm going to get into the possum mobile. I'm going to head on down to the possum lodge. <laughs> Tell my wife I'll be home in a little while. Does anybody other than FUD64 know what he's talking about? Comment below. I'm not going to say it. Uh, let, I, I have no idea. What FUDs, don't, don't say it either. Let them comment below. Um, Must be the beard. But I'm so very glad that we can make you smile each and every day. And Frankie, you're going to say the last name. Laverne. No, L E B E R. Oh, that's right. That's silent. N E. Laverne. <laughs> La Lavergne. No, the G is silent. Well, you were just trying to get me to. No, shh. The G is silent. Shh. Shout out to you, and he loves our P I N channel. Wink, wink. He had to get Winky in there somehow, didn't he? He yeah. loves our P I N channel. He's so. He's part of the the ghost stuff. Oh, is that it? Okay. I don't know. Keep going. <laughs> and Ataku Sethi. Seth. He said just call him Seth. Thank you because uh, that was a struggle to say that again. But, so, thank you, Seth. And shout out again to you. So, that is all we have for shout outs tonight. And now it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit roll. So you all know what this means. It's time for me to hand over my book to Kevin. She won't let me have one. I... Okay, so uh, a lot of people seem to be playing this game right now. And the uh, questions from last trivia question was, uh, first of all, what was the chainsaw used in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And that would have been a Poland 306A. I would have accepted Poland. This is the brand name. Um, and who was inspired the movie? That the inspiration is mostly from uh, a killer in Wisconsin from the 50s by the name of Ed Dean. Um, Tanya Longley also mentioned Elmer Wayne Henley, and I had to look him up because I didn't know who that was. And apparently, he was uh, part of a, a team of mass of uh, serial killers in uh, Texas about the same time it was being filmed. So um, it would have been something that would have been uh, in the news at the time, but I am not sure how much it influenced it. If you know more about it than I do, then let me know. Um, the people who got that right is... There is ten. Yeah, and uh, some of them have partial credit. I'm not going to go into details. But number one was Samantha L. Number two was Bubba the Love Sponge. Number three was Tanya Longley. Number four was Native King. Number five, The Abyss 92882. Number six, Terry Johnson. Uh, number seven, it was Greg Myers. Um, and number eight was Tress Is Me 1. Is that it? Yep. Nine, and Bambi, uh, Bambi S. And Christy Shiver was number 10. Jeez, if, uh, if more and more people get involved with this, we're only going to have to get the, the top five, maybe. Yeah. That, this list will go on forever. Okay, tonight's um, uh, trivia is based on another movie that was inspired by Ed Dean. There was, there was uh, four movies that I'm aware of.
aware of that was um, that was inspired by the Ed Gein story, that the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a movie in 74 called Fen um, Deranged Confessions of a Necrophile, uh, also came out in 74, um, uh, Silence of the Lambs, and Psycho. So that's what we're going to, our uh, trivia is on today. So Psycho, uh, 1960, uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie. Uh, this is an interesting question. Uh, I, it's going to actually be a little tough. I, if someone gets, gets it right, I'll be surprised. Who played Norman Bates' mother? Who in the movie plays Norman Bates' mother? There you have it. Your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, PIN, Megan's Arts and Crafts Channel, and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Yeah, the possum lodge. <laughs>